What's up guys, Diesel 316 here and welcome back to another Let's Play Minecraft. I think we are on episode 48, I'll just make a correction in the title. It's been approximately six months since we've done our last episode. And yes, in our series, um, for this episode we are actually going to travel into a new biome which we haven't even visited in any part of our series. And you're going to have to see for yourself. So yes, here's the seed. I'll leave the seed in the link in the description below. I mean, ugh, excuse me. I'm going to leave the seed in the description below. So, yeah, I'm going to have cheats on, like I always do. Yes, and it's been past Thanksgiving. Today's a snow day, so I have nothing better to do other than just do an episode. You may qu be quiet. Um... Yes, at least I have my headset mic on, so, how about, you can just be quiet for the duration of the recording, alright, um, so anyway, um, sorry about that, so, anyway, we've got a starter chest, um, so yes, give me a second, you may have noticed this already, just quickly, just need to, excuse me, my mic. Ugh, oh, this lag is just worse, it's, it's really bad. Terrible lag. Alright, gotta set some game rules, keep inventory true. Wow, is that the plane fire or is that just me? Or did I seriously set my world generation to... One thing... Okay, it's just land in the middle of an ocean. Not even a beach. Oh, so this is the mushroom fields biome, so, you guessed it, I found it, I was running some seeds in another external program, and I found this one where you can spawn in both world generations, the default and the large biomes, the, you, you do spawn in the, in or near the mushroom fields, um, or if you're a nostalgia freak and you hate the new names, then you could call it Mushroom Island. But basically, you just spawn on Mushroom Island Shore, but you are near Mushroom Island. Oh, and with these mushrooms, um, they're basically red cows, if you think about it. I don't know why, but the I see them as red cows, but I don't think you've ever seen this in any part of this episode. I think you've seen a cameo version of it, but... Let's see what happens if I... Oh. Alright, I just get mushroom stew. But then... Crap, I don't have a flower. <laughs> anyway, I got to... Oh, crap, it's on the other side of the mountain. The flower. Well, I'm out of luck there. Unless if I can just go hunting down and... Like corridors and just get lost or something. Hmm. That's interesting. Alright, enough said. I need to craft some sticks. Anyway, um. So, alright, sorry for the long pause. I've got to be looking for a nearby, um, area. Um, let me check the seed map. Okay. Just what I thought. Alright, so yeah, this is literally an island. There's no other land connecting to it other than just a fake land of ocean. Yeah. 
yes, I'm just driving down to get to the other side. Find out there's a few flowers. But I do not have some bone meal because I need to craft a... You know what. You know what I'm talking about. Are there any rivers? It looks like there is one, but there actually isn't. Well, that's just plain crap. Unless if this is a river. But, for some reason, it was not generated as a river biome. Well, I think we are on Mushroom Island Shore, or Mushroom Field Shore, sure. It's a modern one. Why is it that the deb debug screen goes off the screen? Yeah, that that's just pretty annoying. I don't know if you noticed that, but in the default texture pack, first you're using a default font. Apparently, you're probably going to see this. It's really infuriating. I just have to go walk all the way just to find a river. Because there's a chance a tree might spawn. And I don't have any saplings. The only way I'm going to find saplings is to go underwater. Alright, hang on. Yeah, I'm running 1.15 snapshots, by the way. This is not Bedrock Edition. Wait, and it's just gonna go off. Uh, like, just. You know, I don't remember what we did in the previous episode. I think we were just playing on Pocket Edition. I mean, Bedrock Edition. Pocket Edition no longer exists. It's Bedrock Edition now, people. I'm just gonna have to run until I can find something. This is not even a river. Hashtag this is not a river. Just comment down, comment, hashtag it's not a river. In the comments below, she made it this far in the video. You know, the only thing I can mine from is literally, um, these mushroom blocks. Yeah, the only way I'm probably going to find saplings is to go to a mine shaft. Craft a composter and then just... which I'm probably going to have to do right now. I should do it when I have enough. So, like, I don't know about mushrooms, but... What? Think this video is about killing toads? It's not. It's not about killing these toads in the Mushroom Kingdom. It's, it's not Mario, people. Wicked humor right there. Hmm. Maybe I can axe murder a mushroom. <laughs> I'm a, I'm an axe murderer. <laughs> Just kidding. Do not actually report this. <laughs> All right. Good job. Ooh, okay. Okay. Oh, I found a mine. Oh crud, I shouldn't have used it, crafted. Well, I can just m m mine three cobbles, m mine twelve cobblestone and vent, I mean, mine f 12 stone and then, like, er, what is it? I keep thinking you craft nine cobblestone blocks into a furnace. It's eight. Why do I keep thinking nine? 
oh, it's because I haven't played m vanilla Minecraft in a long time, and with the Hogwarts project in a way, it's... Wait, you don't... <laughs> Alright, let's just test on my theory. I do not have any more... Alright, I can just cook some salmon. I have nothing better to waste other than just cooking regular old salmon. Sure enough, I am quite near some iron ore, so... Yeah, I can just cook up an iron... I mean, wooden axe. Excuse me, I can get a golden nugget for that. And already I just found a cave system, and I'm already getting all the natural resources that is necessary. Somebody just woke up. I just mined uh, eight blocks of coal ore. Yeah, you're going to lose count very quickly if you have to use... Um, fortune enchantment, which I'm just not going to give myself. I'm just going to go standard survival. Yeah, and I'm going to try and locate a mine shaft. Alright, it's 112 by 6. Good grief. 112 by 16, both positive, so... Yeah, and the X and Z axis... Yeah, and there's no sheep by until I can, like, weed out some cobwebs. Wait, why am I... Am I going negative Z? I meant positive Z. Sorry, I'm just going to, um, try and cross over. Yeah, I'll just keep my, um, X, Y, and Z axis on the screen here. Yes, I am now going off way out of, going well out of the way. Well out of the way. Why is there bats spawning out? Alright, it's no longer Halloween. This is not light level 6, people. Or, is it? It's 15, people. Alright, I'm still on the mushroom field. Wait a second, is that a tree? Oh, no it isn't. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. You know what? There we go. I'm just gonna dig straight down. Actually, don't. Don't even think. I'm just gonna dig in a one by two like a regular Minecrafter should, but um, I should consider smelting a few um, pieces of iron ore just to make an iron shovel because there's no point making a wooden one. No point in smelting this. It's just going to take a while, unless if I can just flat out mine it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah, you do see what I'm actually doing here. Yeah, I'm probably going to run out of stone pickaxe durability before I even reach the mine shaft at this rate. I'm doing a one by two, which is act 
which is common sense, by the way. You shouldn't dig straight down on one by one. You'll never know if you fall into lava. That way, you can actually very quickly get back up. <laughs> it didn't actually say zero. gonna get down okay then I'm getting close let me try and use hitboxes see if there's anything I'm the only hitbox let me turn those off cuz that it's kind of getting annoying There we go. This is exactly what I'm talking about with digging straight down. Yeah, it's basically the number one rule of Minecraft if you've read the handbook. You know what I'm talking about. I want to try Scholastic. With this Minecraft, it actually might be easier for me to navigate. But without a doubt, I do need to um, craft an iron sword, which does take... Um, Why can I just n use an axis tool? Yes, yeah, it's about noon at this point, Eastern Time. When this is being recorded, today is the 3rd of December, 2019. Well, I'm just, all I guess is winning it. <laughs> oh, right, because I used the wooden axes, um, what's it called? Yeah, it's rule. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be hanging down in the mine shaft for a while. Because it's literally scarce up 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 on surface. I'll be playing with the mushrooms that I can hold later. If trident spawned in chests, then I could be able to get them without having to fight drowned. But I have a way. It's probably not going to matter anyway. Because I can just craft wool from it. From. Alright, that was extremely off topic. You can't craft wool from tridents. That was a non sequitur right there. Um, there it is. Iron X. Yeah, what Y level are we on? Oh, 121. Yeah, I'm gonna consider reusing using my stone pickaxe until it literally is off. Unless if there's lava nearby, then I can just trash it in there. I mean, who wants to trash a pickaxe in lava? I would if there's a necessity. This smile is infuriating. When you, when. When you thought you had three iron ingots, but then you open your inventory, you have two. This gives me the right to scream. Fungus. Out of all that, what am I, a man or a schnitzel? Oh, oh, I actually have the recipe to actually have the ingredients to craft a, a bow. That's a first. Get ready to throw out my stone pickaxe. 
when you mine for cobblestone. Oh wait, wrong, wrong, wrong. This is not context. Oh, right off the bat, just found gold ore. Yeah, and then iron ore just nearby as backup. Wow, I am running out of inventory space. Inventory space. Ugh. This happens to me all the time. Oh, I can actually use a bolus fuel. I didn't know that. I just got a water bucket in. There we go. Yeah, I can just get a bunch of string here. Oof, there's lava. I'm pretty much trapped. Not exactly, but... There we go. Just need to mine some, some, some more coal ore. It's probably going to be important later on. Imagine if I can, like, keep coal ore in a base or something like that'd be pretty nice oh I'm actually not trapped I'm actually on. Alright, there we go. I just barricaded it. Yeah, just use water if you have to. I'm just in the middle of the mines. Mine shaft. Um. Yeah, I'm just constantly checking my inventory. Every inch of the way, I keep coming across iron ore. Wait, is this... Yeah, like, I made this texture pack um, where I took clips of Russian-speaking clips and just put them in the villagers. And I labeled them communists. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Especially in the Soviet era. Yeah, and there was one from the Wandering Trader that I recently put in. Yeah, and that was actually the latest pre-release, I think. 1.1.0 pre-1. And it basically, I think one of the things I remember I cut on some wood. It's like, 
Mi mia zavania, he said a prosta. I can't remember what it was. Mi mia zavania, he said a prosta. Yeah, it's something like that. Got from Amy Rage Quits. I'm just stuck in this mine shaft with nothing else to do. Whoa! All right, there we go. It's best not to waste space on useless things when you can just use something that you only have one of. Just get on with it. Okay, did I just walk in a loop? I think I did. All right, I'm gonna need to. Spectate upwards. Okay, for some reason, um, I've not seen a single chest at all in this mine shaft. Yeah, are are they? Okay, there we go. We got one. There we go. I think that might be enough to actually, um, take in some. Yeah. Yeah, I can just now check all that in. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough. Getting that. Hold on. Yeah, I just needed to use cheats to actually get myself what I need. some loot. Is loot so scarce these days? Maybe I'm not in a mesa biome, which I've done a few episodes in, except that it's more creative, like, and not a survival thing. Yeah, mushroom island survival, or should I say Mushroom field. Yeah, I've done a Badlands episode, but it was called Mesa at the time, so. I'm gonna try and go up. gone up a few notches. Oh, there's more. I just had to use spectator mode to actually find them. Alright, there's a loot chest. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in the center of the mine shaft. Yeah, or I, even better, I could just go to the center of the universe and not have to worry about things. Kill Bowser and Ben. <laughs> My galaxy reference. Not in here. Wait, where did I um, even find this loot chest anyway? All it is, it's just a broken mine shaft. Okay, 
Okay, there. I was in the wrong section. Ooh, golden apples. I wonder what that brings me. They're literally the only thing I can eat in survival, as well as enchanted ones. Spider cages. What's so crucial about that? Ready ones. Found um more gold ore. Oh, Sika. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, that's not thunder, that's just eerie noise. Okay, I just fucked over that thing. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what I'm thinking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, that was a rail. All the way back here for quote unquote nothing. I came all the way back here for something. Okay, this isn't. Oh dear, oh dear. Alright, get out. Get out of here. Ooh, there's lava flowing. Especially ready lava. Yet again, just spectate into another part of a mine shaft. Hope for any luck. Found one. Lapis lazuli. But I'm still not getting any saplings. Yeah, I'm just going to um look for a dungeon. This might take a while, but really hard to locate them these days. They literally removed the locate command for dungeons. It doesn't exist. Alright, we've used that one already. Yeah, these days, dungeons are just so hard to find. I mean, consider yourself lucky if you find one. Yeah, I'm just gonna go into creative and just take all the necessary loot. Oh, I don't think there's a dungeon. I don't think there is. Yeah, anyway, um... Yeah, I think I do have enough to actually craft wool. Can use that into a bed. Yeah, and then I can just craft that 
lap this into um, blue dye and assuming that there's no other flowers I could just lay a bed down yes this is actually wicked difficult to find yeah it took me literally like 40 minutes j 30 minutes I should say oh wow it's much later than I thought or I think that's just me Yeah, that's just me. But it took me like half an hour just to, f to actually get through one night. Seriously. Yeah, I think it's time that I can just take on some cobblestone and actually start smelting. So yeah. Okay, while I'm there, I need to hit some lapis. We are deep underground to actually grab those. Nice. <laughs> I just found a chest that I haven't even opened yet. I might actually start a farm or something. Hey, why is the GUI not working? Like, I do not have, um, yeah, the, I think the only thing I can cook at this point is literally beetroot, but, yeah, I can just, um, ascend boards at ridiculous speeds. I just lost my spawn, original spawn point. down the coordinate so my apologies apparently the computer crashed in the middle of recording so there might have been an unexpected interruption so anyway here I'm going to be doing my quote-unquote closing statement <laughs> or it's actually not a closing statement so anyway I know this episode was a bit long but just bear with me so anyway, see you next time Dude's Clark 16, signing out, sign, signing out right now.